dream is a really important analogy for really understand the deeper level of what we perceive this world. So when I was young, I tried to meditate on emptiness. The emptiness is mind, go beyond concept, beyond dualistic perception. But it's really, really difficult for me. So then my father gave me example about the dream. So he asked me in the dream, I like this, um, the three wheel, like uh, kind of like kids uh, play, you know, in Nepal, we can buy the three wheeler. So I really want to buy, my mom said, no, no money, not enough money. So my mom didn't bought for me, I was upset. And my father said, in the dream, if you find the three wheeler, what are you going to feel? I said, wow, I will be very happy. And then my father said, if some thief come and st steal your dream three wheeler, what happened? I said, I will be upset and I may cry. And he asked me, this three wheeler is exist or not in the dream? Hmm. And I said, of course not exist. My father said, yeah, it's not exist, but it is function in your dream. When you get, you're happy. When you lost, you feel suffer. And at the same time, you can play in your dream. So then my father said, only the three dream three, three wheeler does not exist. But at the same time, the real three wheeler, also same as like dream three wheeler. So for me, that's really, really eye-opening. Wow, really stuck me. So then after that, I apply this practice. About my life, I'm, I'm having the panic. So I try to apply my panic as like my dream three-wheeler and everything. So everything like dream, but it doesn't mean everything like uh, dry, flat, meaningless. For me, everything become more alive, more vivid. At the same time, my mind not fixed, not caught with, with the fixation. So there's feeling of lucidity, openness, spacious, and at the same time, less suffering, less uh, pain, pain. So this is really, really benefit for me. So I would like, just want to share you this. That's it.